I'm Anastasia Chatska, a fashion designer with over 20 years of experience and a sewing educator. And I'm really excited you're here to share another sewing adventure with me today. Welcome to Sewing Anastasia. And today we are gonna go over an edge stitch under stitch. And what is the difference between those two and when should you use one versus the other? Well, follow along and I'm gonna explain it and show you everything. If you're not already a subscriber to Sewing Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell because I have new videos that come out every single week and they're all about sewing. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing and following me with all of my sewing adventures. Here's the edge stitch under stitch. You'll notice that there's a little stitch by the edge and this is why it's called an edge stitch. And when do we call it an under stitch? Well, I'm gonna tell you in a minute. So this here is an edge stitch under stitch. And what is it? Well, it's when there's a stitch on top of the fabric that's an eighth of an inch away from the seam. So we have our seam here and we have our stitch an eighth of an inch away from that seam. Now when we push our seam allowance over to one side and we stitch it down, that's called an under stitch. So you'll notice right here that we have the seam pushed to one side and we have that extra stitch there. So why would we use this? This is great to use when you're sewing down your linings. You wanna take all your seam allowances, push them one way and give it a nice edge stitch, which then is called an understitch because it's keeping the lining under to the inside of the garment. Now let's go sew up a sample and I'll show you exactly how to do this. Now we're going to create an edge stitch. The first thing we're gonna do is take two pieces of fabric and place them right sides together so we can create a seam. I'm going to be sewing with half inch seam allowance here and I'm gonna make sure I back stitch at the beginning and the end of my seam. Back stitch at the end and cut. Let's flip it to the back. Now you can see our seam allowance here. So if we push it over to the right, iron it really good, and then we can go ahead and do our edge stitch. So we're gonna flip it over to the right side. You always wanna do your edge stitch on the right side of your fabric so it looks really nice and clean from the outside. So just make sure you have that seam allowance pressed over to the right. And now what we're gonna do is stitch an eighth of an inch over to the right on top of all those layers to keep it all down in place. Now for my guide, I'm going to be lining up the seam with this little right angle on the left inside this foot. So once you have that lined up, let's go ahead and create our seam. This is a permanent stitch, so make sure you're back stitching at the beginning and the end. And when I'm sewing, I'm watching that line with the guide. I am not watching the needle while I'm sewing. Needle's not gonna move while you're sewing, but your fabric will. Back stitch at the end and cut. And there we go. We have got a beautiful edge stitch. Here's the edge stitch. It looks awesome. You'll notice the stitch an eighth of an inch away from the seam all the way down. And on the back, we've got that seam allowance pressed one way. And when that seam allowance is pressed the one way and it's stitched on top of it, that's called an understitch because we were sewing a lining, we would be sewing on the lining side with the seam allowance pressed down towards the lining. So you imagine that if I folded this and we pretend it's a waistband, this is the inside of the waistband and it's helping keep the self fabric on the outside from having the lining popping out. So there's no lining popping out on the other side because we've stitched it down. We've given it an understitch. Thanks so much for watching Sew Anastasia today and learning all about the edge stitch and the understitch. If you have any questions on this stitch, leave it down below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. And if you're not already a subscriber to Sew Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out because they come out every single week and they are all about sewing and who doesn't love sewing? I know I do, life passion. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for following along. And make sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and TikTok because I put out sewing content every single day. And that way we can stay connected and creative together. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.